Nigerians' dollar funds are trapped in domiciliary accounts as bank managers tell customers to go home. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Dollar strategies have plagued Nigerian banks, leaving customers trapped and unsure of what to do. Customers who wish to withdraw money from their domiciliary accounts are increasingly being sent home by banks. For customers who try to make trouble, the bank requested that they make an order and wait for a call when it is unavailable. Bank customers are now unable to withdraw dollars from their domiciliary accounts amid the worsening scarcity of the currency in the financial services sector, news investigation has revealed. Bank managers in 10 commercial branches visited in the Keja, Ijibu, Ago Palace and Airport Rudol confirmed the unavailability of dollars for withdrawal over the counter. With the situation, many Nigerians who work for foreign companies full-time or as freelancers are left to take loans to survive. One of the bank managers who spoke to Legit.ng on condition of anonymity confirmed the widespread problem. He also observed, news observed him make several attempts to pacify some of the customers who were desperate for funds. Speaking to the customers, he explained, the dollars in your account is yours and you have the right to get their money, to get your money without any excuse. However, there are some realities. So it depends on the branch where they are making the demand because if the branch does not have the dollar cash, they will have to get it from other locations. Frustrated customers speak. Some of the customers shared their experiences and how it is now very difficult for them to go ahead with their plans. Chine Dueze, who said he works for a U.S. firm, said his bank had also failed to pay him money from his domiciliary account. He disclosed that his money in his domiciliary account is all he has to live on while lamenting his inability to assess it. He said, It is really embarrassing and shameful. Usually I withdraw cash from the account to change to Naira, but I have been unable to do that for some time now. Every time I go to my bank, all I hear from the officials is that they are trying to source for funds, but up to this moment, there have been no money. Another who simply identified as Shegun said, It is frustrating, and I don't know what else to do. I hope that the Central Bank of Nigeria finds a solution soon. Some of us are not finding it funny at all. CBN speaks. The Central Bank of Nigeria recently admitted that the dollar was in short supply, while blaming the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. It argued that the NNPC is not remitting enough dollars from oil sales, and this has increased pressure in the foreign exchange market. In response, the NNPC revealed that in the first six months of 2022, over $2.5 billion was, created, was credited to the central bank account from oil sales. CBN preaches hope as Naira fall to its lowest level in the history to U.S. dollars. Meanwhile, the Central Bank of Nigeria has assured Nigerians that the current Naira depreciation will, will be over soon. The assurance is coming from Michael Adebayo Adebiyo, CBN's director, the research department at the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN. He gave various reasons why Nigerians should be hopeful in the coming months while listing policies in place. Nigerian government reverse plan to help salary earners rent payment, stop learners from collecting advance payment. Meanwhile, in other news, the Nigerian government is discussing a plan to help Nigerians find solutions to rent payment. Fashola, who is leading this call, is worried that many Nigerians are finding it difficult to have a roof over their head despite having a job. Landlords, especially in big cities, have made it mandatory to collect advance payment. The federal government of Nigeria has announced efforts to make it easier for employed Nigerians to pay their rent. Babatunde Fashola, the Minister of Works and Housing, gave the indication while speaking at a forum in Abuja on Monday, August 1st, 2022. The point reports that they promised to find a solution that challenges the current status quo from landlords demanding yearly payment. In a speech, the minister noted that in order to assess housing delivery challenges in Nigeria, access to mortgage finance needs to be addressed. 
He stressed that there is a need to find a way to help Nigerians pay the rent using their salaries. He said, I concede that majority of the houses belong to the private sector and expect legitimate income from rent from the properties. However, I hold a strong view that asking for two to three years rent in advance from working class people as distinct from corporate tenants who may prefer to pay in advance does more harm than good to all concerned and to the economy. There must be something done to help people pay their rent via their salaries, especially the problem of two to three years payment demand by landlords in advance from tenants whose salaries comes in arrears. Fashida believes strongly to address housing delivery challenges in Nigeria, access to mortgage finance need to be addressed. The minister urged the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to work hand in hand with Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporate Corporation contributors formed like other commercial banks do. First of all, from the beginning, imagine you, know, you go work for your money, sweat for your money, breathe for your money, live for your money, as in do everything possible to as a human being to earn a living. Eh? You even struggle, go for courses, eh? spend money. I know some of these people that work as freelancers, they spend money. Both the ones that are self-thought and the ones they pay money to learn. You can't do everything, you can't come back. They hustle for your money, then you go hustle for your money. This country will still frustrate you to say, ah, ah, I'm all, we don't entire ammo for this country at this stage. Ah, no, 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 no. What do they expect people to do now? This one is not a thing of you they do your own. You are working legitimately for your money. And now, problem deal. Ah, problem, problem. At this point, problem deal. This kind of government, those in government sincerely is like, you be like, I don't know even carry people who even know anything about this job. With the way we think, they happen. I will keep saying it that whenever you use, you sideline merit, eh? If somebody merits a position and you carry that position, give a person with no merit down, you will bear the consequences to the core. The consequences is always very, very calamitous. The calamity no be small one. People want to withdraw money now. Some of them, then they, as they, they work for that, now they, now the only source of living where they get. You can't carry your own now. Now wow, now what? People they do things to make their life better. This country they scatter and for them. You they try to patch your your clothes. We don't tear. This country they help you. They tear and they more. Ha! My heart goes out to people who are, and this uh, they are whatever whatever. That they are going to make salary enhance. Well, I've heard about it before. We don't even know how any how it's going to bring about anything good. But let's just keep hoping. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>